What is up D20 Village family? Mission number one video coming at you. Stay tuned, roll the intro. Alright, what's up everybody? Glad you made it this far. Mission number one, we're talking about when the characters first meet. We kind of already had a, uh, not a mission zero, a session zero. So everybody already knows each other. We're already good friends. Um, we all created our characters and whatnot. And so now this is the first mission that they go on. Um, they join, uh, like I said, the military of uh, Cakestead. We said that in the last video. Go ahead and watch that backgrounds video. Um, and now this is mission number one. And they all know each other. Um, they're a part of Bravo Team 7. Now, Bravo Team 7 is just pretty much just them. They're a support team, um, and they haven't been doing all that well um, with their past couple missions. So, their captain, Captain Travis, um, actually gives them a little bit of a saving grace and gives them a very easy mission to complete. And that's just literally going to a bar called the um, Silver Oak Inn and pretty much making sure that nothing happens because he hears that's going to get rowdy. So what happens then? Let's find out. So you have the entire team here talking to Captain Travis. Now this is everybody that we already mentioned as an Adonis, Samson, Bellamy, Gaelic with the addition of another character named Caleb and his dog Max. He's playing a ranger so beast companion kind of thing. Um, Captain Travis sends them to the inn, says that there's going to be some like rowdy stuff going on. He hears that it's going to get pretty crazy, pretty, uh, pretty live. These characters go over there, they head out. Gaelic's a drunk, so he goes straight to the bar, asks for some drinks, and the team kind of splits up into two. Half are going to stay in the bar, the other half are going to be outside kind of patrolling um, that area. The ranger, Caleb, does what rangers do. He kind of just sits there, the whole Aragon part, kind of just is sitting there in the corner, kind of monitoring everybody listening into conversations, while you have Samson and Bellamy who's outside, and then Gaelic's inside, and you have Adonis inside as well. And so everything, the night is just transpiring just fine for what they know. Now frequent patrons of this inn are uh, these group of people that are part of like this fighters guild, like a fight club. First rule about fight club, don't talk about fight club. And there's like this ring inside the inn and that's kind of where you would go and just solve your issues. It's kind of like a boxing match kind of with wrestling. Um, and then during one of the uh, shift switches, right, where Bellamy and Adonis are kind of going outside and Gaelic and, and um, sorry, Bellamy and Samson are going outside and Gaelic and Adonis are coming inside, one of the fighters goes ahead and says something to Bellamy that Bellamy didn't like, so he kind of steps up and he's like, what's up, cuz, you need a problem, let's come up in this place, and let's go in the ring, we about to duke it out. So the fighter and Bellamy go ahead and start fighting. Then Samson steps in. Samson also gets on the fighter, so then another fighter joins his companion, so it's a two-on-two. -two. Gaelic sees what's going on from outside, so then he runs in, he jumps in the fight, so now it's three-on-three, -three, and then you have Caleb, and Caleb messes things up. Mind you, these are all new players, new characters kind of thing. None of them have ever played before, and I'm the only one with experience. That's why I'm the DM. So I'm you know, running this game. I'm asking Caleb, what do you want to do? He draws his bow, sees what's going on. So he draws his bow, and he shoots an arrow at one of the fighters. That's when everything kind of turned, because now you have everybody who's talking, playing music, kind of wrestling. You know, Everyone's having a good old time. Everything goes silent. Everyone stops drinking, stops talking, and then they just look over to Caleb with his bow drawn. The fighter realizes he just got shot at, and that's when things take like a turn for the worse because this non-hostile encounter turns very hostile very quickly. And then Adonis steps in and further ruins everything that's going on. Adonis does some spell to where these vines come up through the floorboard and starts grabbing everybody, makes everything difficult terrain. I know that's not how the spell was run, but it was at the heat of the moment. It sounded really cool. I needed to come up with something because this was all just flying out of my butt. I didn't plan for this. So he just starts, these vines start coming up and makes everything difficult terrain. And now the entire bar is getting messed up, right? Gaelic is, not Gaelic, sorry. Caleb is stuck in one end of the bar. Everybody else is on the other side. People are all, all, are all caught up, and the fighter just breaks out of the vines. I was like, oh my gosh, he passed his strength check. Then Samson, hope, you know, thankfully, has rolls like dexterity and kind of like weasels his way in and out of the vines, and he like dashes over, and he's standing in between the fighter and Caleb, and he doesn't have any weapons on him. He's just standing there, and he's holding his ground. 
Samson's there, standing, fists up, ready to fight, no weapons. This hulking figure, this fighter, is walking over towards him. He tells Samson to move out the way. Samson refuses, still holding his ground. The fighter, who he was just fighting, right, and quite frankly getting his butt whooped by, realizes that Samson is really stupid. He asks him, he says, you're really going to die for your friend here. Your friend messed up. And your friend's going to get it. You don't have to if you just move out the way. And Samson says, no. If you want him, you have to go through me. Fighter looks at him, nods, calls another word of his homies. By this time, Adonis lowers the spell. All the vines kind of go away. Everyone's kind of just, you know, trying to get their breath. And as one of the friends grabs him a sash. He hands it to him. This fighter now standing here with a sash in hand introduces himself as one of the leaders of these uh, fighting guilds, of of one of these, uh, one of the ringmasters. And so he invites Samson. He says, you know what? You're really stupid, but I do admire what you will go through, the extent that you would go through for a friend, even though your friend over here is stupider than you. He tells him to watch his back, but he invites him to the guild gives him the sash, and the fighters leave. Eventually, the bartender tells everybody to get out because his bar, his inn, it's all ruined. It's, it's, everything is messed up. So Bravo Team 7 leaves, tails between their legs, failing their mission. But Samson leaves with a little bit of victory. And then they have to talk to Chapman Travis. And they kind of get it from him. And you'll see what happens in mission number two because that's when things get even worse. So, overall, I thought it was an amazing way to start a new campaign. Like I said, new players, new characters never played before, right? Great role-playing opportunities, very low dice rolls, you know, very realistic for how the game kind of goes, and they really got a feel for it. And in the next mission, it's who they start developing, who they are as characters, and it starts really setting the tone for um, all the previous missions coming forward um so stay tuned for that video it's coming soon um if you've stayed and you watched up until this point uh thank you very much um we love you d20 village family uh let's grab some dice and let's get rolling see you next time